In this video, we'll be looking at the graphs of reciprocal functions. The first graph that we'll be doing is the graph of the basic reciprocal function g of x equals 1 over x. For this first one, we're going to look at plotting points. When x is 1, y is 1 over 1, which is 1. When x is 2, y is 1 over 2. When x is 4, y is 1 over 4. When x is 1 half, y is 1 over 1 half. Now remember division by a fraction, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So 1 multiplied by 2 over 1 is going to be 2. This one, when x is 1 fourth, y is 1 divided by 1 fourth, which is the same as 1 multiplied by 4, so 4. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. When x is negative 2, y is negative 1 half. When x is negative 4, y is negative 1 fourth. And when x is negative 1 half, we have a negative 2. When x is negative 1 fourth, we have negative 4. If we plot these points, 1, 1, 2, 1 half, 4, 1 fourth, you can see that we're getting closer and closer to the x-axis. When x is 1 half, we have 2. When x is 1 fourth, we have 4. And now we're getting closer and closer to the y-axis. So our curve on this side is going to look like this. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0 because if x is 0 then we have division by 0 which is undefined. So x cannot equal 0. So we have our vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And you can see that we also have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Mainly because there's no way this fraction would ever equal 0. The only way it would equal 0 is if the numerator is 0, and that's not going to happen because the numerator is 1. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Now let's plot over here for x equal negative 1. We have negative 1. When x is negative 2, we have negative 1 half. When x is negative 4, we have a negative 1 4. So it's behaving very much like it did here, getting closer and closer to the x-axis. When x is negative 1 half, we have negative 2. And when x is negative 1 fourth, we have negative 4. So our curve on this side looks like this. And again, we have our horizontal asymptote and our vertical asymptote. Now, let's apply this basic graph to a similar one. If you were asked to graph 
the function f of x equals 1 over x minus 2, we can see in this case that we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equal a positive 2 because if x is a positive 2, then we have 2 minus 2, which is 0, and division by 0 is undefined. So we cannot have x equal to a positive 2. So our vertical asymptote is going to be this vertical line. I'm showing it with a dotted line because our graph cannot cross that line. It's not a part of the graph. It's just a guideline for our graph. We also know that we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Because again, this fraction is not going to equal 0 since the numerator cannot equal 0. So we have a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis is y equals 0. So our graph basically is the same as the graph of g of x equal 1 over x. So we're going to go right 1 and up 1. That's going to be our guideline basically and then right 2 up a half, or right a half up 2, and then our curve is going to be asymptotic to the dotted lines that we drew. Same way on this side, left 1 and down 1 and left two down a half, and left a half down two, gives us our guidelines. For this side of the graph. Let's try one more. Um, if we were going to graph this function, we can see that we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equal negative 3, because negative 3 plus 3 gives us 0, and that's undefined. And we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Again, because the numerator will never equal 0, so this fraction will never equal 0. So our vertical asymptote is uh, this dotted line at x equal negative 3, and our horizontal asymptote is the uh, x-axis, and we have nothing else going on in this function, so we can use our guidelines for the y equal 1 over x function, write 1 up 1, right 2 up a half, right a half up 2, and then our curve on this side. And then on the left side, left 1 down 1, left 2 down a half, left a half down 2, and our curve is asymptotic to those dotted lines.